Hello, friends. This is Carlos Oñoro here at Rockspeak. Rockspeak is just a, uh, to put it some way, an excuse to practice a little bit of English between you guys and myself. I speak a little bit and we, you know, together listen to stuff in English. I'm not a native, so I speak a little bit slower. And additionally, you can, you know, listen to some stuff related to metal music I, or heavy metal or rock. Maybe you like this. So we can kill two birds in one shot. And uh, the, the addition for today is the announce of the next stop of Nutfest in Colombia. Um, yesterday, uh, Paramo, which is the organizer together with Tuboleta, I guess. They have they have released their date is the 9th of December. December the 9th. And this very Friday on the 13th, uh, the early bird prices um, will be out for people with the Movistar program preferencial also with people uh, for people with the aval products which is the bank and also there will be a bunch of tickets out also for you know for the regular people after that prices will go up we don't know those prices i'm here to tell you what we know about it so yeah So here's here, here's the deal. What we know is, as I told you, this Friday through Tu Voleta, they will be selling the tickets on the early bird prices, cheaper prices than the next stage of prices. We don't know if there are one stage more or two. Uh, yeah, we don't know. What we know is that Movistar people with people with the preferencial Movistar preferencial will get uh, 150 tickets for VIP and 300 for general admission um, this is between Friday and Saturday after that those you know that sale will, will be gone people with Aval products We'll have from Friday to Tuesday, from the 13th to 16th, to get their tickets. They have 700 tickets for VIP and, one, and 1,400 for general admission. This sale will be out until uh, Tuesday the 16th. And on Tuesday, also on Tuesday, for general people with without the preferential Movistar or um, the Aval products there will be 150 VIPs and 300 for general um, so what this means is that the first stage the early beats the early beard um, stage of prices for not best 2022 are 1,000 tickets for VIP and 2,000 for the general admission. What are the prices? General admission is 259,000 pesos. Wow, in English, it sounds so much money. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's way less than 100 bucks. So yeah, so 259,000 Colombian pesos and The VIP is 399,000 pesos. Basically, 400,000. Yeah. Um, additionally, well, you can see, guys, that uh, even, even the VIP ticket is not 100 bucks. So let's say it's cheaper than in all over the world. So um, additionally, these prices, of course, have charges the ticket sale the ticket seller charges you if you buy vip you will get charged 17.8 percent on the vip price which is 71,250 colombian pesos 
And then you have the general admission, which is basically 17%, which is 44,250. So to resume, to summarize, I'm sorry, <laughs> to summarize, we have 470,250 Colombian pesos in total for the VIP and 300 and 303,250 for the general admission ticket. Um, what do we know about the venue we will be using for the NotFest? This is pure speculation. They haven't said where is it. Some people have thought that all that as Movistar is involved with the pre-sale, uh, it could be at uh, Movistar Arena. But that, but I don't think that's that's the what's happening. Um, yes, it's uh, the promoter has its own. Uh, ticket seller which is Entradas Amarillas and this time it's two boletas so what it says uh, that basically the venue will be something two boleta controls uh, of course they control the, the Movistar Arena but it might be some other venue because as you know the the NotFest ha the Not Fest has two two prices and the arena is so much complicated than that so I dare to say I dare to speculate because I don't have information about this uh, that the venue will be the same venue they used for System of a Down North Bogota Bogota um, uh, also some stereo picnic chapters in the past has been there have been uh, and uh, yeah this place I I think that it's used by them. I don't know if they've done uh, shows uh, recently, but it sounds to me it could be that venue or maybe there's another, a new venue we don't know about. But still, as I say, this is pure speculation. If it's in the north, of course, Transmilenio is key to get there on time. And uh, Tren de la Sabana is also a must going there. So yeah, this this looks like this is open air, an open air event. But as I told you before, this is pure speculation on my side. Um, what what do we know about the lineup? Well, well, we can infer some stuff. This year, Nosfest is going to Brazil and Chile. Also, uh, we we know that. Uh, not fast in other countries they have chosen to reduce the size of the lineup to get to put it some way a regular concert where you can see all the bands there's there's not this uh this thing that is like a you know everywhere that there's 200,000 bands that you can't see only the 10% or multiple uh, uh, stages sounding at the first time. No, this is not this is not what's happening in the world with the Nordfest this year. And uh, and sh surely there will be less than 10 artists in this chapter of Nordfest. To to be honest, I like that. I like that. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm too old for this, but if there's so many beds, I want to see them all. I want to be able to, to see those beds. And maybe what they're doing now is doing the great effort to get a great sounding stage with great sounding bands for you to enjoy, go for a beer, go with your friends. And have a blast and not going there, going that, you know, you, you're in front here, but you have to walk there. You know, all that hassle, it, it's not going to be uh, this time. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe if you have to go to the bathroom or go for a beer, you will, yeah, you will have to get away from where you were. But, you know, it's, I think it's great. Um, So, as we know, 
the lineup for Brazil and for Chile, we can infer some stuff. Of course, Slipknot this year is the main act. And I say this because the first time Nutfest was here, they didn't play, right? So, yeah, we will have Slipknot. They have been active with new music, great new music. Soon there's an album coming out. Maybe we will have them with their new album. Um, so, yeah, Slipknot is the main band for the show. Um, then we have what I think is the main metal band uh, within within the people within the with, within the guys in metal, the young people that love metal. Um, it is second to them, but this is a band that has two more two million more people listening to them on Spotify than Slipknot. Slipknot has 10 million listeners monthly. And Bring Me The Horizon, which is the second band, has 12 million. This is a popular band. Hopefully that matches with the tastes, with the tastes of, of uh, Metalheads here in Colombia. This is a great, great new band. This is Fresh Blood, although they've been out for a long time, since 2006. When I hear them, I, I, I kind of like hear some Linkin Park stuff that, there without the MC, you know. Technology, melody, is not at all that dark or heavy as Lignot is, but it's a great uh, yeah, it's a compliment, you know. It's a, it's a. Uh, I I think they they. You know, they fit, they fit greatly within the lineup. Um. Yeah, now, in in Brazil lineup, and uh, if if you see the poster for from uh, from Brazil, you will see next to Bring Me the Horizon. There's a question mark I don't see that question mark in Chile so there will be another band apparently at the same level as Bring Me The Horizon they haven't announced it yet and and here's my speculation, this is my guess it is possible well there's, there's several bands uh, I'm thinking about but I have the feeling that Merciful Fate the band led by King Diamond which is so important so uh, uh, influential so historical coincidentally touring this year everywhere and they don't tour much at all they tour like every 10 years or something like that um, they are on the same age, main management agency than the rest of the people of uh, Nutfest, which is, of course, Slipknot is there. But also there are other, other bands. I have heard, I don't know where, but I heard that Arch Enemy and Behemoth were coming to South America, not associated with the Nutfest, but uh, December was the date I heard. So, and and Be Behemoth is also on that same agency. So, so if there will be any surprises, I would say, without having any information, this is pure speculation, and you forgive me if this is not true. If next week we will know. But my guess is between... A merciful fate and uh, behemoth. Um, I don't want to say the other band I heard. Yeah, because of, of course it's yeah pure speculation, pure fun here. So forgive me if this is wrong. Okay, so we go we go on. Um, uh, for sure, 
there is another band that is in the two events, Brazil and Chile, and it might come with the band, with uh, with the festival to Colombia. But this band is Trivium. Trivium, the band from Orlando, Florida, Florida, formed so many years ago. To me, it was a new band, but it's they they've been playing since 1999. So they've been here in Colombia. They have 10 albums. They're great. They're a, yeah, they're a metal band that hasn't stopped at all. They will be here. The other guest for sure they will be uh, because Brazil and Chile have them too. Is Sepultura. Of course, we are familiar with Sepultura. We know that from 84 to 96 uh, they were led by Max Cavalera the great founder and composer who left the band to form Soulfly then around 10 years later Igor his brother uh, also went out and 10 years ago mostly 10 years ago I would say with albums like Kairos Machine Messiah and the, the newest album their more recent album Quadra um, Sepultura has gained a strong space on their own on their new music led by Andreas Kisser the, you know let's say it's uh, the founder guitar player also together with the with the Cavaleras he entered like you know little time after and 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 since he's being there uh sepultura was stronger um also in the band you will see um paulo jr which is also um uh, founder bassist of the band Derek green is the voice of the band and eloy casagranda the drummer he suffered some kind of lesion on the american tour And also, Andreas Kieser had to, yeah, had to be replaced within the uh, uh, European tour as he had to to be um, together with uh, with his wife uh, in their lying bed. They, uh, yeah, she she died a few few days ago. So he's yeah he he had that in his life recently um, another artist um, let's say it's a new band it's not a new band but it's, it's a very interesting artist I don't see it announced on Ch in Chile but, but they are in Brazil the band is motionless in white which is really nice I would say they complement together with the They complete together with um, Bring Me the Horizon, although they are American, Bring Me are uh, English. So, so Motionless is White, great, great band. Also, we can't forget a super group that is coming to both shows, Brazil and Chile. They are Mr. Bongo. Mr. Bongo is a project from a guy considered a genius Mike Payton he is regarded as a music genius where metal is only part of his musical interests and uh, a lot of people within the scene within the music business um, appreciate what he does and that's why Mr. Bongo is a band made of superstars in metal. To name two of them, one is Scott Ian on the guitar. He is, uh, of course, known by uh, by his his trash band, one of the big four, uh, Andrex. He's the guitar player. Also, uh, on the drums will be Dave Lombardo. Which is basically every side, every project my Mike Patton has, he has Dave Lombardo there. So Dave Lombardo will be playing um, Mr. Bungle's drums. 
He right now is the drummer for Testament, Suicidal Tendencies. And of course, he was the soul behind the drums on the best songs of Slayer at the best shows. But, but hey, um, this is a band you can't la label that easy. This is not a metal band. This is an avant-garde music project, an experimental project that mixes very uh, smartly <laughs> um, elements of retro pop, English music, rockabilly, jazz, psychedelic stuff. There's this Frank Zappa taste on, on, on this one. Um, they, are, they are really uh, something to see. Of course, you have to be... Your mind has to be open because this will not be a metal act as you know. But this, of course, uh, is something interesting to, to taste within this festival. The other event surely will be on the festival in Colombia is Vended. Vended is closing the, the lineup in Chile and also in Brazil, for sure in Colombia, as uh, its members are Griffin Taylor in, in lead vocals. He is son of Corey Taylor and Simon Crahan on the drums, which is Sean's clone um, son um, as I told you there are rumors of two bands coming to South America different than those I mentioned but I don't want to go further let's see next week the festival will announce after the first early bird stage of prices what are those uh, uh, surprises So yeah, to summarize everything, my friends, um, this new chapter for NotFest after three years is going to be a reality on the 9th of December this year. It's a Friday. It looks like it's an opener event. It might be north, north Bogota. And there's two prices, you know, VIP, general admission. There's a, a special price um, stage, which they have called um, Early Bird. And the prices go from 2,000, I'm sorry, 200,059, 259,000 <laughs> 300, I'm sorry, 259,000 pesos until 399,000 pesos plus 17.8 and or 17% on the charges. Most likely the bands that will participate are, of course, Slipknot, um, Bring Me, The Horizon, Sepultura, Trivium, uh, Vended, and Mr. Bongo. All right. Um, I think that's basically what I had to... Well, that's... This is what we know. I have heard today they will put out the the venue. They will put out the map. And next week, the complete lineup. So stay connected. This was a... An, a yeah, this is an excuse to speak English and to listening to some stuff you might be interested in. Um, so forgive my mistakes. <laughs> I also know that if you are learning and you want to practice... I say I'm not native. I do it like slowly, slower. It could it could work. You can kill two birds at the same time. Listening to some some things that you might um, like, and then you can practice a little bit. So, so my friends, uh, this was our report of what we know about Notfest 2022. Um, my name is Carlos Oñoro, and this was um, Rockspeak, the Spanish. I'm sorry, the English version of some of the chapters that we have at Historias Roqueras. But if you listen to both, you will see that not at all. The, <laughs> well, it's similar, but the content is not a translation. I try to speak. Uh, yeah, I write everything for 
historias rockeras and on rock rock speak I try to be more um, uh, with no script also to practice my my English so you practice I practice we love each other we, we hug each other we're metal guys we're uh, metal heads and yeah <laughs> all right so see you on the next chapter of rock speak have a great one if you like this this material um, show it to your friends share it if you have a, a, a favorite uh Of streaming platform, try to give us a a uh, a like or a subscription so you get notifications. And uh, if you send your comments, of course, we will be better thanks to that. And that's for now. Have a great one. Keep keep being metal, man. Bye.